Hi, this is Dave Aquino with MicroQuant, and this is the free video for Tuesday, March 31st, 2015. Now, this is the last day of the quarter, and we are looking at the SPX um, S&P 500 index, and the price action is very interesting today. Um, if you remember, uh, over last week, we had that very strong fall last Wednesday, and then a subsequent follow-up on Thursday. Friday, you have an inside bar. Uh, it's inside the body of the Friday bar uh, of the Thursday bar, and then on Monday, we get this uh, opening, a slight gap, and then a move higher. What's interesting with this particular move is that it was um, a very strong retracement move from this high to this low. And you can see it was back to the 618% retracement. Today, we're having also a distinct inside bar to yesterday's price action. In my eyes, we are stronger to the upside. We did come down to test the area right around the 50-day moving average. But as of right now, about 1.30 in the afternoon, we are higher than the 8 and the 21-day moving average the EMAs. So what this looks like it could be setting up for is a bullish move higher. Now I also say that with an eye towards the uh, the current, uh, the fact that we had a lot of uh, um, volatility uh, in the morning session that has to do with the window dressing going on in the different mutual funds and the different individual stocks. I think tomorrow the first is setting up for a bullish breakout to the upside. Now in order for that to happen, you actually need to break above the high of today, which is 2084.05, provided that high of the day, the current high, stays in place. Uh, I want to see a close above the eight day EMA, which is above 2077 and two thirds. And then even better would be a break above this swing high, 2088.97. If it does continue, I think the next logical target could be 2100 to the upside. Okay, looking for that move uh, over the next two days into the long weekend. We may get follow through and a continuation move higher. Um, I, I still like the overall bearishness of this position. The fact that we could come up and make a yellow overvalued level and then fall from here. There is not much upside momentum, but I am looking at two different time frames. In the next two days, I'm looking for a move up to 2100, but then I want to see it start to stall and then fall uh, over the next couple of weeks. So that's what we have in the SPX. Best of luck trading.